Happy Friday, everybody. Let's adjust the audio levels. There we go. It's Friday tea time. And here we are with weird birds. Oh no, I need to mute the stream. <laughs> there we go. So the votes are in and the topic is weird birds. And I've done some research to start off with. So I have a list of fun bird facts and weird birds. And I'm also testing a new web camera that I've pointed at my cat. He's going to be boring. Also, he's, uh, he's made it so you can't see his face because of the bright sunlight. But we'll just have him in the corner there for a bit. Oh, I said his name. And now he's going to rearrange. Oh, good. Now you can see his beautiful cat face. <laughs> so we'll just uh, we'll just have that going in the corner for a bit. Just, uh, you know, to test the new web camera. And, uh, and make my cat the star he deserves to be. So, I have a list of weird birds here. After I exhaust my list, or whenever you want, please jump in with weird birds that you want. Also, as always, if the audio is weird or anything breaks, tell me because I might not be able to know. Because I'm relying on you guys. Uh, my cat is almost 15 years old, and he is going to spend the next three hours asleep in this cat bed pretty solidly unless he decides to get up and have a snack. But otherwise, he's going to be right there, like that, this whole time. So we're going to start with a kind of less weird bird. We're going to ease in with a slightly normal bird. And you guys, feel free to interrupt at any time with other birds. That's how, that's how cats are. They, they have schedules that they need to keep and things they need to do. So the first, the first bird, that's not that weird, but I love it. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Is, uh, is the demon cardinal, or <laughs> its actual name, the Phanopepla which is a charming blackbird with bright red eyes that lives in the American Southwest. And uh, has a digestive system specializing in eating the fruit of the poisonous mistletoe. So that's fun. And, you know, they're a black cardinal with, with, with bright red eyes. So, you know... Hard, hard to go wrong, really. For the sake of getting through birds, I think we might just do this one as a silly quick color sketch. Because that's the fun part. Oh no, cat's trying to break into trash cans. That's a... Uh, pets are fun. <laughs> And lovable. And such problem children. Back to my back to my dangerous list of brushes here. The, the great oh yeah, they're little um oh we've got we've got some uh we've got some poofs for you coming up. Oh, Tenchi 3. So, such poofs. Such impressive poofs. Um, I, I did some internet research last night on weird birds to prepare, as you do. And let me tell you, I, uh, I had forgotten some, some wonderful weird birds that I, that I had known about in childhood that, uh, 
that I had uh, been overlooking for years. And we're going to we're going to have so much fun learning all about them. Until eventually someone just demands that I draw a hopo or a secretary bird. And then you learn about those two. It's true. Been getting been getting bird bird picks on Twitter as my as my daily morning morning Twitter check. Like what what has Auntie Shepherd shouted at me about and uh and what weird birds await me first thing in the day. So so many, so many poofy birds. And the one with the little mustache. <laughs> There's the secretary bird. I hope all of my East Coast people are safe from Hurricane Dorian. And that your power stays on. And that your neighborhoods do not flood. Hello, Nikki Smith. My day has been good, but I'm sort of nocturnal, so honestly, my day's been kind of short. You guys are like my morning meeting, except it's at three in the afternoon. Yeah, that that is that is sort of the the end the end problem with with being nocturnal is that the world doesn't want you to be. It would really would really rather you join everyone else and be up in the morning. <laughs> I mean, look, I know that all caps tweets is how is how you uh is how you show your love for people and i i don't i don't want to feel left out uh you can teach cats to not wake you up it turns out uh, i've worked very hard at that But I also once had a 9 a.m. meeting move to 9.30 because I was never on time for it. So, you know, part of it is just uh, proving to the world you're unchangeable, I guess. So if anyone feels the need to learn more about the Phainopepla, and it's mistletoe fruit. Uh, I just wrote in my notes, goth cardinal, nearest relative are wax wings. That's a fun fact. Uh, but you can look them up and share if you want. Or you can just watch me finish doing a quick a quick little paint of one. And then we'll, we'll move on to other birds. But yeah, I see I, I have a special affection for the goth cardinal. Um, just, you know, as a thing that exists. Also, I hope my mom is watching. I gave her the link. She said she might sign up for chat, so if my mom shows up in chat, you all have to be very nice to her. 
But she, like Auntie Shepherd, has terrible rural internet. So we don't know if she'll be able to show up or not. But if she does show up in chat, I can ask her if I can tell you all horrible stories about things. <laughs> you can curse in front of my mom, I do. But we're trying to keep this, this all family friendly anyway. You know, in case a family shows up for some reason. Right? They're, they're, they're amazing little demon cardinals, and I love them. I love them so. I think it's, it's not even just the fact that they're a black cardinal. It's the fact that they're a black cardinal with, like, bright red eyes for some reason. It's the bright red eyes that, like, really make it, you know? Just really, really proves the, uh, proves the demon gothness. Get some, get some cardinal fluff going on down here. Um, so, I, so I, I hear that that we need to sketch secretary birds. I, I hear that's a thing that that needs to happen. It seems like that's uh, something that that everyone's excited about, or at least one person is so excited about that they'll just repeat it in all caps, and that kind of makes makes up for any any silent lack of excitement from everyone else. Because I have, I have another, I have another bird that's in there, it's in there specifically, specifically for the secretary bird. It, it occupies a similar, special, weird part of the world. Oh, feather halo. So excited, so excited about the secretary birds. And no one can prove otherwise. Well, don't worry. We're doing a very, a very fast, fine a fit, the fine a pebbla, just for me. The fine. It's, it's, it's my stream. I get to start with my favorite. And he's not that weird even, but I love him. I love him and his little his little goth cardinal plume and his little red eyes. Well that that looks like it's gonna be a mistake. But we're gonna we're gonna go with it anyway. Fix it later. Oh dear! Now we're now we're doing now we're doing whole comic book scenes of secretary birds. Save your save your battles for bird D and D. Have have your. Your secretary, secretary bird uh, fighter. It's true. They do really do that. That is that is a fair that is a fair point to be made. And I don't really have an argument for that. Yes, they they do really do that, and it's pretty awesome. In fact, I I really have I really have nothing nothing against the secretary bird plan myself. 
They're a they're an excellent bird. But we have we have hours, hours of weird birds ahead of us. Just imagine the number of weird birds we can cover. Oh, where did I put the eyeball? And the bright red eye. It's brighter, bright red. Yes. Oh, people. And tiny white. Not that tiny. There we go. Oh, I think he needs some. some wing shady definition here and then we'll be done I promise and we'll move on to to to, to weirder birds just angry at this foot. <laughs> cool. Give him a branch of some kind. And there we go. Now all I have to do is figure out what. Nah, I see what I've done. Curses. <laughs> Mistakes were made. There we go. And hooray, we'll call it a day. Fino Pepla, the mistletoe eating goth cardinal. No. That's probably how that's spelled. Sure. All right. Yes, metal. The, the metal goth cardinal. Okay, so I have a list here, or we could move straight to uh, to secretary birds. Are we are we going for like immediate gratification or do we want to draw it out a little bit and uh and have to and have to work for the secretary bird? Let's uh open a window to Google Secretary Bird while while I'm here. Oh look it just it it Shows up when I type secretary. Great. 
I mean, they do, secretary birds do have great heads with their little, their little feather plumes. So secretary birds, secretary birds, let's talk about secretary birds and stomping on their prey because that's, that's the thing they do. And it's weird. It's, it's just weird. Secretary birds specialize in stomping on their prey until the prey is immobilized. Oh no, so much lag. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, the saddest, the saddest, worst internet. Probably not made better by a hurricane lingering off the coast. So let's, uh, let's grab some images here. Oh dear. Barometric pressure. So let's let's see here. We could do some action shots. There's some good some good secretary bird adventure action. Stomping on, stomping on, on critters. Oh, the barometric pressure got better. Yay. Slightly better. Back to my sketchy brush. So secretary birds kind of have a, uh, they kind of have hawk's beaks and faces and like stork bodies, which is fun. They've got flu faces. And like expressive, angry, like eyebrows made from their from their little feather tops around their bare faces. Although I think this one probably looks slightly angrier than than is strictly necessary. They've got and then they've got, you know floof down here. They've got also like kind of ostrich plumey feathers around their neck, which is really fun. Those like fine filamented light floof feathers. Not happy with this bill. It goes more like that. There we go. Little little hooked hawk bill. Don't worry, we're getting to the fun to the fun to the fun area of the of the face. So they've got these these floofy got such a floofy flowy neck. And then They've got this sort of odd crown of just like feathers that just sort of stick out in all directions at random in kind of a 
as as was previously mentioned in chat, a halo. We kind of have a a halo or or tiara, if you will. Your persona is it's uh, on brand. Perfectly on brand. So they've got when they uh, when they face forward. So when they face forward. Well, first of all, when they face forward, they look even, even odder, because they've got kind of a a, a nice, a nice little masked shape, but the way that they're, uh, the way that their little hawk's bill looks, they're, uh, they're frowning pretty hard. Because they're angry and they kick things to death. Yes, that's uh, that's why they're on brand, specifically. So, when when they when they face front, their little uh, their little feather halos can spread out. into like a little, well that's horrible alien looking eyes now, oh well whatever, into these little like crown halo circle looking spreads. Which is fun. Very, very, very classy, very dressed up. He was the secretary bird. Some of the longer ones in here. So the other thing about secretary birds is that they have crazy long legs. They uh And uh, with their crazy long legs come come some some amazing sort of like yoga pants looking stocking tops. They've they've kind of got like a wee little body and the floof neck and their and their little feather crown. And actually kind of great big wings. And a nice tail for balance. And then they've got these uh, these kind of feathery, feathery pants legs going on. Oh, this is this is not the stream where where I animate live. That's a whole other. That's a whole other adventure right there.
And they've got crazy long feet and kind of horrifying claws, actually. Uh, which makes sense, given that they stomp things to death with their feet. Although they have surprisingly delicate little legs. All things considered. Okay, let's let's see let's see what we can what we can find for secretary bird violence here. Well, that looks very athletic. So. Oops. Yes, it's true. They uh they are in fact enormous birds. Not not we, not we tiny little birds. So don't let their don't let their long spindly legs and tiny head fool you. Although I think I made the head slightly too tiny, really. It's kind of a little bit more 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 bill. There we go. All right, so they sort of they stomp on things. So Uh, I I so here's here's the thing about streaming animation. Um, two things. One, I'm not actually certain that I can talk while animating. Um, I think you guys might have to wait until I find a way to stream music or something, because because uh, I'm not sure I can split my my brain that much. Um, because it takes a fair amount of like thought and planning. Uh, the other thing is, I think it, it might actually be super boring. <laughs> um, I'm not I'm not sure. It's probably not fair for me to make that call since I'm not watching it. Um, and I would enjoy watching animation, but I have a very specific esoteric interest. So, because I mean, I could I could spend the whole three hours probably just like working on the 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 pencil animation of uh of the quail of the quailidin walk cycle. So So yeah, I don't know. The other thing that I guess I could probably do is uh is just record it and play the recording back and uh talk over that recording. But that also seems weird to me. Oh dear. I'm sorry, I'm sorry that, that, I'm sorry that auntie doesn't know what I'm saying. Somebody, somebody fill her in. <laughs> fill her in on my protesting. That really, that really no one wants to see me animate. It's surely, surely not. 
Also, it's like my job, so I would probably have to wait until a time in which I'm not super burned out on it. And don't intend to then go and spend the whole evening also doing it. You know, maybe if I'm art directing something or or doing some concept work instead. I keep running out of keep running out of wing page. Oh good, you're caught up now. That's it's good because I'm I'm working on I'm working on your on your 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 bird your bird snake battle here. That's not I need to look up snakes here in a second. Because if we're gonna do this, the snake needs to be appropriately intimidating. I mean, obviously, this thing needs to be appropriately intimidating. Oh no! Uh, see, that's the other thing is that I I can't see the cat bed, and I've I've covered up the video with with reference images of birds, so so I don't actually know what what cat cam is doing right now. I think sleeping. Peek around. Oh, oh, he's turned in a circle and is sleeping at a different angle now. I see. Oh, I mean, I this he's here all all of my work day. He's the best coworker. He just quietly sleeps in his in his cat bed behind my Cintiq on my desk. He's a good he's a good quiet coworker. Very, very well behaved and supportive. Also, this is the new web camera, so it, it appears to be one streaming. Two, let's 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 two streaming at a resolution that shows details. So maybe, just maybe, someday pottery stream with actual clear picture will happen. That would be very exciting. To have a to have a pottery stream start that didn't start with like a series of odd unpredictable failures. I mean, in fairness, Bob Ross actually had pretty good image quality for, you know, the fact that it was probably recorded on a video camera. I mean, he definitely had professional lighting. Also, I don't think we give Bob Ross enough credit for, uh, for painting an entire painting in the time it takes for that, for that paint along episode to, to go. Like, that man painted very fast. Yeah, camcorder on a tripod. Yep, that's... Kids, in the olden days, the, the before times, we had things called camcorders, and inside them we put a videotape, a VHS tape, a full-sized one. Uh, although then they invented ones that had tiny ones. And we used to have to record things with it and then play them back. Oh. Oh, has it gotten too warm for cat bed? So I, I saw a kitty head peek up above. Oh, I still have I still have a mini DV camera in my closet. From from the days when you needed to put something on it to get it to anything. From because it was the only thing you could really easily get stuff off your computer with. Ah uh, yes, the olden times of technology. Talk about happy happy little well, I mean this this is 
This is they are happy feathers, but it's not it's a bit aggressive in uh in topic here with Secretary Murderbird. <laughs> happy happy little ha oh no, bye. Bye, kitty. I'm sorry, have I made it hard for you to leave? If, if, hey, buddy. Hang on, friends. I put a screen up to help block sound, and, and now my cat needs help. There you go, bud. <laughs> Had to free my cat. Had to free my cat from the uh, from the screen. So when when video catches up, uh, cat cat will have gotten annoyed and left. I don't know. Maybe he's gone to to have snacks. Um, we'll. We'll uh we'll we'll turn off kitty cam, and uh, turn it back on when he shows back up. Oh no, that's that's quite a lot of lag. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know why that is. I don't know why video, even just digital video lag so far behind. Um, but yeah, I... I hope at least that... that you're getting slightly better audio than, than video, but I'm not sure. It's true. I mean, some internet is better than no internet. Let's let's uh, let's get a snake in here. What kind of? I'll just ask Google. What kind of snakes do Secretary Bird well, Secretary of State autofilled? Well, Secretary Birds hunt. Ah, uh, they're famous for the even cobras. Oh, there's videos, everybody. Oh, this one's in slow motion. Oh, slow motion secretary bird video. Oh, it's too good. I will. It's 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 good enough that I will attempt to share it in chat. Well, something happens with Twitch when I get 50 followers. I don't know what exactly. Twitch is weirdly gamified for streamers. Like, it keeps giving me notices about achievements that I've unlocked and I'm like I don't I don't know what you're talking about I wasn't trying I don't know what's going on <laughs> um, anyway there's a video of secretary bird uh, snake snake stomping as I attempt to look for what kind of snakes secretary birds like to fight. <laughs> the internet's just like all of them, so cool. Let's make it let's make it weirdly epic. And go with a cobra. Because they have Nice fun shape. Cape cobra? All kinds of African cobras. There's a giant African cobra. Well, that's a thing I learned today. I also, slow motion videos make animators happy. 
which is why I was so excited to see it. Um, because then we can sort of get a really good idea of how the movement is working. Um, I don't think I don't think you can subscribe to me. There's no subscribe button. I think I have to have a certain number of followers before subscriptions are a thing I can I don't know. I don't I don't actually know how this platform that I am currently using works, but that's basically fine. Well, I'll figure it out together. And uh and if we don't, I'm sure it will still remain fine. Just get my... snake going here. He's, he's not the most detailed snake, but, you know. Um, oh no. <laughs> think, think of buffering. Think of buffering as getting to watch me draw in, 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 in hyperspeed, I guess. Or, you know, time lapse. Oh, Google says you have to be a partner or affiliate to open subs. I don't know what either of those things are. Um, but also, I'm not convinced that, uh, that subs to this channel are a thing that, that I want to do. Oh, let's see. Oh, for affiliate, at least 50 followers and over the last 30 days have had at least 500 total, that's okay, seven unique broadcast days, an average of three, seven unique broadcast days in the last 30 days. That feels like that's not going to work, because that requires more than one stream a week. So that's fun. Um, but that's fine. I don't, I don't really, I really need the ability to open subscriber things. Because, you know, this is nice just the way it is. You guys and me sitting here, drawing a secretary bird, murdering a snake. You know, just hanging out and having a nice time. I'm never going to lock content on here, really, so I don't really. Oh, stream at 1080. Ah. Uh. That would actually be helpful to be able to let people um, view it at a resolution lower and be able to stream at a resolution higher. <laughs> I don't. I've I've seen bits in other streams and I don't understand them. Um. Yeah. I don't know why I made this. I made this snake so. So cheerful about about his about his the battle for his life, but that's what happened. And that's where we are. Uh, Secretary Bird. So I don't understand it. I don't understand how it works, but here you go. Okay. Let's uh let's just let's just take a moment to also appreciate 
that secretary birds have kind of amazing eyelashes. Just Yeah, like they're solid, solid mascara going on there. Just, you know, really, really impressive. They got their kind of their floof. And then this bit's all all nice and wrinkly and orange. And then they've got the eyelid and then like amazing stick on <laughs> st stick on additional lashes just just amazing lashes so long and full Up under. There's there. Just trying to give you some some bird face context here with this weird eye sketch. Some eyelashes over here. <laughs> Oh, uh, secretary bird eyelash sketch. <laughs> Such a specific topic. And then they've got, of course, their, their amazing feather halos going on. So, uh, so yes, this is the secretary bird. It stomps snakes to death. Hooray! It's a ostrich, ostrich eagle peacock is an excellent way to describe the secretary bird. Let's. Let's see if we can I mean that's essentially the snake is being slapped to death. That's that's basically what's happening. Just gonna do some some little some little action thumbnails here quick. Because uh they run in kind of an interesting like just cause bird bones but like this is this is actually you can see their their sort of elbow or I guess knee because wings your arms and yeah anyway you know the joint there as they kind of Run. Get some. And then up from here is the wings. Oops, I've run into a snake murder. <laughs> I in in my in my in my head everyone in chat is just watching slow motion <laughs> slow motion secretary bird stomping basically on loop. So So I hope that's the case. Don't don't disappoint me.
Oh, oh, cat is back. Let's let's get the cat cam back on there. You can watch him uh, watch him create his sunshine nest behind the curtain. No, Auntie Shepherd, don't keep dropping. You're missing Secretary Bird. I was wondering if 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 not having to process cat cam would would help. Um, but but I guess I guess not. I just I sort of feel like telling her to Verizon won't won't help. I feel like Verizon probably, much like Comcast, doesn't care. Not even a little. All right, let's Let's get this. Kind of face going on here. Oh, Hardwired internet. Yes, I. I live in the land of, of fiber internet and it's it's pretty great. I'm not gonna not gonna lie. I have not have not been disappointed by the hilariously fast upload speeds. Oh no, rural cell phone internet. Can you draw that? Can 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 birds get tattoos? I mean, where mm, where would you put a bird tattoo? The, I mean, the skin's kind of kind of wrinkly though on the on the face. I mean, I guess technically you could pluck feathers <laughs> and, uh, and tattoo underneath. But, uh, but I don't know. <laughs> because because you guys you guys were at bird D&D &D, you've seen you've seen how I how I attempt to make animals into any kind of like humanoid thing I just make weird wing hands <laughs> that everyone's afraid of and call it a day that's uh that's the best I got running secretary bird Let's see what what other what other fun fun oh strutting strutting secretary bird so this is actually usually how I start any of the bird paintings is to sketch a. Uh, Oh, 
I'll sketch a bunch of quick poses and things because it gives me an idea of how the shapes work because I stylize them a little bit and I kind of like to have the the general size and shape kind of down before I do. Oh no, I haven't been paying attention and someone said something about 3D rendering. 3D rendering is not going to happen. Buster both sides. There's, there's, the only 3D rendering I do is in clay. I'm a, I'm a hardline non-3D artist in the computer. I do not enjoy it. I find it odd and confusing. <laughs> oh dear, I haven't been paying attention and now we're now we're organic is things cut sifted. Things are happening. T T is the appropriate the appropriate form that all that all attempts of bribery and gifts should take. Um, note that I that I don't consider herbal infusions to be tea. They're a different thing. Tea is a tree that grows a leaf that you pick. That is tea. Everything else is just different leaves and water. Hey, Hannah. How's it going? Got ourselves a, a strutting secretary bird here. As I as I learn secretary bird shapes. Cause I don't know, something says to me that I'm gonna have to do them more in the future. Oh, let's see. Um, you missed. Uh, let's give you the full the full page of, of Secretary Bird here. Let that sit for a minute, and then uh, we'll move Goth Cardinal down here. And that's the overview of the first hour of this stream. Uh, yeah. And kitty cam. There's there's kitty cam there in the corner. S snake snake stomping. Secretary bird adventure. And uh, and I think we we've we've kind of we've kind of wrapped up secretary bird here. I feel like. I feel like we've done a pretty, pretty solid amount of, of secretary bird. And I think we might, uh, we might move on to another weird bird. I think, I think. But what other weird bird are we going to go to my list? Does somebody else have another weird bird? Oh, right. Hannah, Hannah's here. Uh, Hannah, Hannah is, uh, has been, has been hard, um, hoopoo, hoopoo, hoopo, hoopoo, hoopo, I don't, whatever. She's been campaigning for the, uh, for the hoopoo. Quail aren't weird birds. Quail are very normal birds. They're, they're, they're the normalest of birds.
I mean, <sighs> chat, chat, why have you turned against me? <laughs> what's, what's happened? I mean, if you really want quail, that's what's happening. But, uh, but it's gonna be quail that's weird. And chat, you better be prepared with weird facts about quail. Because we have a theme to upkeep here. So, so tell us, tell us weird facts about quail. If that's, if that's where this is going, I'm going to draw some Montezuma quail because I think they're the, the fanciest quail. Um, and they're probably the quail that are depicted in uh, Mimbrous ceramics. So that's fun. Also, they have like weird spiral faces. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the weird quail facts. That, that, uh, that seems, that seems like a pretty normal bird thing to do. If, if anyone I've ever known with bird pets has a, has a, a, a common theme. <laughs> I don't, I don't know that, I don't know if that's, that that's true, uh. I feel like I need some 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 citations on the quail are responsible for the Bermuda, Bermuda Triangle uh, Wikipedia entry. I said facts and facts by their very nature are true. At least, I meant to say facts. If I didn't, we're just going to pretend I did. I'm not convinced anyone can prove the leader of Masons isn't a quail, so... I'll accept that one. Pictures or it didn't happen. Full grown. Full grown moose destroy cars every every day. Can't post pics. Uh, you could post you could post links to the to the to the quail to the quail moose video. Oh, no, I'm just mad at this sketch. Let's just start over. <laughs> oh, I've done this to myself, haven't I? I've just I've just let you guys let you guys loose on on quail facts that aren't that aren't facts. Now we're now we're just gonna be here forever. Applying quail to things. The moon. Everyone knows the moon is made of cheese. Let's let's not be crazy. Quailfacts.com. Uh
quail. And you guys don't get to keep quail forever because I do have one definitely weird bird that I that I want to get to. Because it's it's really it's a good one, you guys. It's a really it's a really good weird bird. <laughs> Quailfax.com. Oh no, Quailfax.com is available. Quickly, quickly. Chat, band together. Make it happen. The world. The world could have a whole, a whole quail fax. Web presence. I'm waiting. I'm waiting with bated breath to see what happens with quailfacts.com. While also kind of failing at quail feet here. Oh well. It's it's difficult to convey the madness of the patterning of the Montezuma quail in a sketch. I have drawn so many quail. Surely you have enough quail to be getting on with to start. For some reason, no one's ever even considered registering quailfacts.com. Just, I mean, who knew? Such a, such a gap. Such a, such a, such a gap in the web. That's right, kitty cam. <laughs> the sketching isn't interesting enough. You can watch my cat sleep. It's the new the new crowd draw of Friday tea time. Is uh is Friday Jack Nap time. Uh, if I didn't say so before, my cat's name is Jack. Now you know. It's a very appropriate name. He fulfills it nicely. He's a good, a good sort of Jack. So let's try and convey the cool spiral face markings here of Montezuma quail. <laughs> oh no. Quail facts. Let's try and at least get the little face shape right. There we go. On to Zuma quail. 
have fun spots. I have a spirally face that I have not really done justice to. Kind of. It goes round. Let's clean that up. At least some. I'm now the proud owner of coilfacts.com. Congratulations, chat today. I feel that we've really changed the world. I think we've I think we've really done something today. I feel like I feel like we've accomplished something together, although mostly mostly Shepard has accomplished something. But I mean, I think that you have to put quail facts on it, right? Like, that's seems to be, seems to be what you would do. Although, I don't know, I guess you could also do something completely unfactual, quail-wise. Aw, bat facts. Bats are great. That's a fact. Although, in a very real sense, I sympathize with the idea of I do not want to do something that will require more work to maintain. <laughs> so... So there's that. Perhaps quailfacts.com requires a volunteer staff. All right, let's just, okay, Montezuma quail. Let's see, what other quail do I just have sitting around on my, my desktop? <laughs> it's a... Uh, Thing that's just around. Well, blue scale quail are nice. Blue scale quail, also called cotton top quail, have a uh, have little little white floofs on the top of their heads. So so it, it comes up kinda like a kinda like a cardinal or a or a phenopepla. And uh but it's dark in the front and then all of this is white poof. Oh, Birds of Paradise. Those are nice. And and they do fun dances. Yeah. There's um oh one of the BBC nature series. There's, there's so, planet Earth or, I don't know, jungles or, uh, there's, there's so many of them, it's hard to keep track, but one of them has a really excellent, um, bit of various, um, dances of birds of paradise that, uh, 
that the males do to try and impress the ladies. And, uh, and one of them has to form a team. And they do like a, a, a group choreographed dance. And it, it's pretty, it's pretty great. So, you know, look at that on YouTube later. And listen to, to Sir David Attenborough tell you about, about bird dance. Because, you know, bird dancing. <laughs> that smack of neon teal. Oh dear. I mean, but Sir David Attenborough is the voice of nature. That's just, that's just how it is. Like what, what is, what does a nature documentary sound like without, without Sir David Attenborough? Sigourney Weaver narrates, narrates nature documentaries. I don't know that I've seen one that she's narrated. All right, we've sketched some quail. <laughs> Are they being drawn proportionally? I, I don't think so. I don't know. They don't occupy the same territory much really uh i i suspect that all quail are vaguely similar in size so actually he's probably more more of a stature although i'm i'm drawing him all all stretched all stretched up Look, we said we said hoopo or hoopoo. And then uh and then everybody said quail. You coulda you coulda already had a hoopoo. Alright. I even had the pictures open. Nope, it's too late. There's no more quail. Quail's over. <laughs> That's it. You've had quail. So the uh the African hoopoe I'm just going to I'm just going to ask the internet. See it it implies that it's hoopoe with its little pronunciation key. So I guess hoopoe So, fun, fun hoopoo facts. Apparently, 
they show up in various stories with King Solomon. So that's fun. But there's also, and I'm trying to find the thing I read about it. Ah, yes, a gland that uh, that an incubating and, and brooding female has that produces a apparently a liquid that smells like rotting meat, and she rubs it all over her and her eggs, and uh, and it has a bacterial agent that eats other harmful bacteria, which is super neat. Oh, apparently they're they're carved up for all kinds of magic spells in medieval times. Well, I did not know that. That's actually really cool. <laughs> um, so let's see. They've got a little a little crest. That's pretty cool. And a long pointy bill. Oh dear, chat chat has gone chat has gone in a weird sideways adventure here. There mentioned so Pua are mentioned explicitly in a lot of the spells that uh, Hannah's been reading about in the book Magic in Medieval Times. <laughs> this is like reading, yeah. Oh no. So, I hope it kind of look like Kingfishers, which is really interesting. Um, they've Oh dear. It's uh Oh chat. I'm just gonna just gonna keep it focused on the bird. They've got I've got fun oh, zoomed in too far. <laughs> They've got these long long sort of curved bills. And then their heads kind of follow that long curve, so they've got, when they've folded their little crest in, they've got an interesting sort of pickaxe shape going on. So they kind of, yeah, king, kingfishers or woodpeckers, they have a sort of a A pointy shape. And then they've got really interesting stark wing stripes. Horizontal wing stripes, which is really interesting looking. And uh, hard to sketch because they do a, a a kind of a weird split thing. I've I've covered chat with with think no murder first so you can oh no <laughs> generic to mm. I mean murder murder is pretty hard to hard to cover up though. Not sure it's uh I mean it's a lot of effort. Just you know, all I'm saying is be sure you're up for it. <laughs> um and now back to happy chat. 
Happy little chat. Happy birds. Oh dear. Oh no, chat, you can you can do whatever you want. But I'm going to talk about the story of King Solomon getting mad at the hoopoo because apparently he showed up late for a meeting. That was the summary that I got when I read it anyway. You might get something different out of it. Possibly something that, that involves more storytelling and less uh, sort of sort of general general business manager annoyance. Or Hannah could tell us more about about what medieval magic we could do with with the hoopoo. Oh no, finally a secretary bird joke. Boo. Secretary Bird jokes. Uh, apparently King Solomon did some sort of thing where he had all the birds go out and spy for him. And, uh... And, and the hoopoo is not to be relied upon. Uh, I mean, in fairness, I wish I had a secretary, so uh, no, no shade there. I'm my own terrible secretary. Ooh, a lot of spells about making your lover admit things. Well, I see, I see I've just taken this right back to, to generic toilet paper. <laughs> Oh no. See and when they when they open when they open their little their their long their long pointy bills, it's it's really hummingbird looking, which I think is interesting. I mean I think there's still a lot of insecurity. I think that we just we just don't uh we don't we don't use we don't use bird parts to to attempt to magically get people to admit things anymore. I mean, I say, I say we. I don't know. Yeah, it's uh, it's what we have. We have the internet now. We don't. We don't need weird bird spells. Is that? That's how that works, right? Those are analogous. Hoopoo's little. So now that we've now that we've got their their little crests all folded up, they can make everything really impressive by unfurling them. So instead of all instead of all sickle shaped and pointy we become kind of kind of uh kind of like Woody Woodpecker actually I think if I'm remembering that visual correctly, I might not be, honestly. It's been uh it's been some time. Oh 
<laughs> unfurl the majesty that is that is the the, the floof the floof crown let's do this one from the back so that you can see the the madness of these stripes it's like a, a really specific geometric pattern. Black and then white and then black. In a, a very specific pattern. that kind of changes as it goes down to different sections of feather. So it's got kind of like that longer stripes. And then comes into the back in this V shape. It's a it's a really really complicated complicated feather pattern. It's, that extends to its tail. Making it Difficult to quick sketch. Yeah, I know. I know where the body's going to be. It's fine. It's, uh, once I kind of have a an idea of the shape, it's easier. You can kind of predict where things are gonna go. Though I did just twirl my tablet pen and then accidentally drop it, so, you know. Skills. Get some. So the other thing about this charming little feather crown is that each little little extended floof feather is tipped with a black dot, which is adorable. And you can kind of see where it's folded down and it's got like kind of a row of like black stripiness kind of. But when it unfurls, it's just actually a black tip on each little floofy feather. And they get kind of more floofy as they go back. So that he has just a little, a little floof crown. Oops. I accidentally canvas rotated. Just uh, zoomed away a little bit. Hoo -hoo. Um, oh, let's have a little. Let's have a little bit of. Let's have a little bit of color fun. Since they're really black, white, and one color, let's uh, let's grab some some basic watercolor brush going on here and uh, 
see if we can color match. Yeah. Just, just do a quick, quick hoopo watercolor just for fun. I say watercolor, you know what I mean. It's a digital watercolor brush. Well, I mean, they really only have the one color, so so not a whole lot of of, uh, of complexity going on here in this in this scenario. Like that's that's basically that's basically it. That's just just kind of a rusty orange. It's a nice, let's like kind of have some, some rusty orange going into there. They're black. So we'll just, there. Da da da. I don't know why I zoomed out. I'll give you a better view if I zoom in actually. Poo poos. Um, who have, uh, who have a, a fun gland that they smear rotting meat smelling stuff all over themselves and their eggs to protect them from predators and bacteria. Yay! Fun facts! Uh, oh, oh you guys, I don't know that I can that I can reliably sketch this, but um but I found I found photos of, of them flying. And those stripy wings are just Oh, so cool when they're when they're spread out and flapping. Oh, so neat. Let's let's see if I can if I can grab one and get. Oh no, Pinterest! Why? <laughs> Pinterest is the bane of my image searching existence. But. But maybe, maybe if I click all the way through, maybe, maybe. No, ah, Pinterest. Let's see if we can, oh, here we go. Let's see if this works. Yes, it does. Victory is sort of mine. <laughs> there we go. So look at this crazy stripey pattern. We'll just, uh, Add that, add that in there. And, uh, and, and see if that will eventually show up in chat, maybe. Oh, I'm gonna see if I can make my own stream. There we go. My stream caught up with itself. Um, They've got just this crazy stripe pattern where the, the long feathers have, uh, it's then the V and it's so cool. It's so cool and I'm showing it to you because I'm definitely not going to sit here and sketch it. So <laughs> now you understand all of these crazy stripe patterns and where they come from. So. Mm 
that is the hoopoo. I think I'm gonna switch to one, um, one that I kind of want to do. It's, it's also got a crest. It's kind of similar in 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 visuals, but uh, but I just I just feel we need to talk about the the Watson, also known as the reptile bird, skunk bird, or stink bird. Um, for a couple, of, we need we need to we need to talk about it for a couple of reasons. Uh, yeah, the first the first reason is that they are just dinosaur chickens. Like they're they're just dinosaur chickens. They're they're born with little wing claws. They they look they look like every dinosaur bird fossil you've ever seen. Um, they have blue faces and red eyes. And they're uh, yeah, they're 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 bird dinosaurs. The other the other reason that we really need to talk about Watson is uh, that they digest food by fermenting vegetation like a cow. I think they're the only bird that ferments vegetation like a cow. Uh, and apparently that's why they're called the skunk bird or stink bird. Also, um, one of the websites, I think probably Wikipedia, but maybe just an article, had, uh, had the best intro sentence, which I'll just read out loud to you, which is, The Watson, primitive chicken-sized bird of South American swamps. Just that kind of... Chick swamp chicken. It's a primitive swamp chicken. Do they have to be... Yes, we're we are we are we are we're enjoying we're enjoying the the weird and fanciful things that nature has given us today. Uh, inventing weird birds is definitely definitely a thing for the future. Not 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 for the moment. Oops, that was quail again. Ah yes, Tengu. They're a fun they're a fun legend. Also, uh Yeah, there are there are there are a lot of, of interesting legendary bird creatures. But today we're talking about how weird it is that the Hawatsun is real. It's a real, actual bird that eats that eats swamp vegetables and looks like a dinosaur bird. And is born with tiny wing claws. Um in fact, if you look up uh, sort of science illustration stuff of the uh, of the Hawazin, Watson, Watson, they uh, they're really the art. Any artist who, who who draws them is is really excited about the wing claws. They uh, they really feature them feature them heavily in those science illustrations. They are so excited that that's a thing. But it was actually really hard to find reference images of of the actual babies with with the actual with the actual little little claws. Um, don't know don't know why maybe. 
Maybe there's not a whole lot of, of drive to take pictures of, of tiny baby Watson. I don't know. And I also was unable to figure out what what happens to the wing claws. Are they still there under the feathers? What's the uh, what's the deal with the wing claws? I I think that's the uh, yeah that's the the one that I. That I found the the little baby gripping gripping hand. That's a lot of quail eggs. I feel like I feel like you may need to start giving them to other people. Don't you have don't you have uh don't you have neighbor neighbors that want that want tiny eggs? Ah uh, yes, pickled eggs. Watson have an odd tail shape with their 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 floof shows behind their wings. It's interesting. They have a very a very floofy underbody, and then. Long, a long feathery plume sort of tail. <laughs> oh, I love, I love that your solution with what to do with too many quail eggs is to is to hatch some of them, so that you will have more quail eggs. Although I suppose more quail that one that one has other uses for. So the Watson has a uh, has another little little feather feather crown, but this one is of dainty filigree little feathers. So that it's all, it's all lacy and, and fine and floofy. It's got some fun kind of white stripey patterns on its upper neck and kind of beige underneath. But they really start to look like dinosaurs when they when they spread their wings. Oh, the the Chuana Turcata keeps its wing claws in adulthood. That's fun. But where do the wing claws go on the Watson? Do they... I mean, I guess they just get covered over in feathers? I don't, I don't really understand. 
anyway, when they spread their 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 odd their wings have really really sort of prominent large feathers and just kind of buzz underneath. Ah, they fall off. Oh, that's kind of horrifying. They fall off as they age and the fingers fuse to become the bone structure of the wing. Well. Fun. So let's see. They've kind of, they've, they've got a little bit of the sort of, I see why they why they're they're sort of chicken referencing cuz they've they've got some of the sort of sort of chicken build shape going on floofy floofy round bodies This great big wing. Yeah, it's that it's kind of the 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 floofy the floofy under and it's all of all of the feathers sort of under under where its wings would be folded are this kind of like chick fluff looking fine fine floofy feathers okay so let's see the adult claws lost the fingers and fused aha uh -huh. So, science. As the feathers come in, the fingers fuse and change. So yeah, the the Hawatson kind of kind of looks like a a big angry. A big angry chicken <laughs> with its with its floof. And it's it's sort of small small fluffy small fluffy body under its very, very large wings and tail. Because its its tail is just like hilariously epic too. Like it's kind of like as long as the body practically. It's got and it's got sort of large feathers that end in a in a white patch. So that's fun. It's, oops, don't know what that was about. There we go. <laughs> Get to make sure that we don't. There we go, because it's all it's all a fine kind of filamenty crown. There we go. 
Um, and yeah, it's it's really hard. It's hard to convey the soft floofiness of its of its sort of body feathers. But uh, but they're yeah they they look they look very fine and 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 soft and floofy. So I sort of get the impression that that they're called that they're called stink birds just because people are kind of mad they smell like cows. Seems like seems like people are just like, "Ah, oh, but it smells it smells like they're 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 fermenting vegetation. They smell like manure. Uh birds aren't supposed to smell that way." Call it a stink bird. I feel I feel it's being what I'm saying is I feel I feel it's being unfairly stigmatized for its a uh, for its swamp vegetation diet. I'm a. Uh, Going on record as defending as defending the Watson as probably smells fine. I don't know for sure, obviously. I don't have one here right now to test. But but yeah, I think I think they're I think they're un they're unfairly maligned as uh a stink birds. I mean, they're they're just they're hilarious. They're hilarious, enormous chicken birds is what they are. Oh, somewhere on the internet, there's a charming photo of 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 a mom and two and two little ones. That's pretty great. Let's uh let's see, let's maybe do maybe a, a glamour shot close up of its of its bird face. Give it a little See if we can get some of the details in there. It's got it's got kind of an interesting beak too. Kind of roundy. Uh oh, buffering leg. That's not good. What's happening? Did the cat, did the cat move? Is the, is, is Twitch slowing down? Every time, yeah, you know, you've got to you've got to stay comfortable when you nap. It's important. Um, I was looking for for more recent photos to try and do some sort of general website updates yesterday and discovered that basically all I have are, are selfies with my cat. Usually with his face slamming into my face. So 
I don't know if if you if you go to my webpage at some point and it's just a picture of mostly my cat with like the corner of my face, you'll know I gave up <laughs> and uh, just used what I had. Oh yeah, they've got really evident little ear holes, which is uh, which is neat. Another another neat thing about the just just one more neat Watson thing. Ho Hua Watson? Yeah, I'm just gonna keep saying it like Watson. Seems seems fine. Yeah, I don't understand why why every everything that ever references dinosaurs at this point doesn't doesn't make them all fluffy and feathery because that's that's just way more fun. Just just so much more fun. Dinosaurs should all have floof now. It's just the way it should be. Little ear holes, little. Floof, floof feathers. He's kind of all floof feathers. He's not. Just his wings and tail are sort of larger, firmer feathers. The rest seems pretty. Pretty decorative, floofy. Filaments. His little. Oh. Another thing that someone could look up if they were feeling industrious. I didn't really see any images of them with that with this little sort of floof crown uh, folded down. So I'm not sure it does fold down. I think it might just always stick up. Could maybe look around a bit. But yeah, I think every every image I found of them, it was, uh, it was sticking up. So uh, I think it might just be permanently up like that. Which is fun. Just always, always turkey floof. Oh, let's let's tidy up my screen here some. Cat cam. All right. Let's see what other what other Watson poses. Maybe some just some more quick quick shape things. Aw. Kitty, kitties, kitties between. Yes. Get some. Let's 
some oh no now I've I've accidentally uncovered the uh the stream on my screen so I can see how like weirdly behind it is from what I'm drawing. Don't look. Ignore it. Focus only, focus only on Photoshop. Yeah, I was, I was, uh, I felt pretty comfortable just sticking a camera on Jack. He spends most of his life in that cat bed. He's really likes the cat bed. It's, it's in the sun. He can get behind the curtain or in front of it. Behind the, uh, extremely... Extremely excellent high quality towel I've hung to block the light from the from the window. There's a there's a sheer curtain which cats over the years have torn a cat shaped hole in and have just allowed that to occur. So you know that's there. It's the, uh, it's the little perfect, the perfect cat spot. Let's see if we can... Even, even Watson wings are a little odd, actually. Uh, you can kind of see where their where their little fingers fused. Then they've got that hilariously large tail. some Watson tail feathers in. Oops. Not the right keyboard shortcut. There we go. Short. Swap chicken. Swamp chicken. And, uh, and while we're, and while we're here, it's worth pointing out that swamp chicken has red eyes. And like a surprisingly vibrant blue face. Just so blue. Yes, but what's it's he's yeah it's it's very he's very poultry shaped. Um, it's uh, he fits he fits the criteria. 
of weird birds. Oh, let's see. Ca cas cassowaries. It's true. Cassowaries do have excellent blue. Fa I mean, there are a lot of there are a lot of blue skinned birds for some reason. Um, one of one of the other one of the other sketch options for today or art options for today was uh, was vultura and guinea fowl, which also have like crazy blue faces and red eyes. I don't know why this is a common bird trait, but apparently it is. Specifically, blue faces and red eyes. Yes, cassowaries are dangerous. Dangerous carnivorous birds. This time I've got a giant glass of water with me for when I run out of tea. So my voice won't start to go weirdly hoarse towards the end of stream. All right. So that's the Watson, Ho Watson, Ho Watson. I I sort of I keep wanting to pronounce it like sort of Quetzalcoatl or that kind of Watson. Yeah, Watson. I feel I feel like that that's probably right. All right. More weird birds. I still have a list. Obviously. But uh if anyone else wants to holler in I did some research yesterday, so I have a a number of other weird birds that I could still bring out if you don't have any further ideas. <laughs> we did we is Cassware a little a little bit close to both Secretary Bird and Watson though? I mean I don't maybe visually. Let's that let's uh let's grab a Oh, but we've already sketched. Oh, so I I do I do have um, I do have a, a relative of the of the Putu or the Potu on on my weird bird list, uh, which is the um, the Papuan frogmouth. Not just any frogmouth, the Papuan one, because it also, for whatever reason has giant red eyes. <laughs> just, just huge bright red eyes. Um, which is just, just excellent really. Somewhere here I had a, I've lost, I've lost my folder. My folder of of images of birds.
There it is. Good. Shoulder is back. Because even if I don't even if I don't sketch them, um, there's just something it's just something fun about the uh, about the the the, the Papuan frog mouth and his uh, and his red eyes. Well, they're nocturnal, so those giant red eyes are meant for seeing for seeing in the dark. So when you take photos of them in the daylight, it's too bright. It's so bright. Um, and they also have have really great thick bills. Um, and uh, and there's one with its mouth open. Just because, because, yay. And the inside is yellow. <laughs> um, and apparently there's some rumor going around from some time ago that they sit with their mouths open and attract flies through some kind of secretion in their mouth. Uh, I couldn't really verify that in any way, but it was interesting. Um, so that, that's, but we, we drew a Putu already. We've, we've drawn the Putu, in fact. So, uh, so now we've Googled cassowary. If you Google cassowary, you get a list of things that people have asked. Two of them are about murdering people. The first one is, why is the cassowary so dangerous? And the second is, can a cassowary kill a human? And then we move straight on to, can you eat a cassowary? And the final question, which I think is the best people ask question ever, is, is the cassowary a dinosaur? Just, is the cassowary a dinosaur? I haven't clicked to find out. The answer is the bird-like dinosaurs Oviraptoridae. That's Latin, and I pronounced it poorly. Oviraptoridae. Maybe another ancestor of the southern cassowary. Uh, is I mean that that. Oh, look! More questions. How fast can a cassowary kill you? And Another excellent question. Can you ride a cassowary? Uh, I'm just going to read you the answer to can you ride a cassowary. Just, um, it's well known that cassowaries can be dangerous, and indeed, together with ostriches, they are the only birds known to have definitely killed humans. Uh, there's an asterisk behind definitely killed humans, so I don't know. I, I don't know what the footnote is on that. Um, but, uh, but the answer is not whether or not you can ride one. The answer is just basically don't. Oh, God. Poor. There's just all the more and more questions keep coming up as I read lower ones. Um. And they're all about about cassowary murdering people. Um, so why is the cassowary so dangerous? It's known for its dagger-like claws. Um, it's often called the world's most dangerous bird. So, oh, how, how fast can, because a cassowary can kick, this claw is very dangerous and can hurt or kill enemies. Scientists believe they can run up to 50 kilometers per hour, they can jump up to 1.5 meters, and they can swim. 
I don't know why why the fact that they can swim just adds an extra amount of amusement to me, but but yeah, uh, they can swim. So, uh, in keeping in keeping with uh with our with our fun our fun murder bird stretch here, let's uh. Let's take... Oh, those legs are some serious business. Let's... Let's take a look at some... At some cassowary. Cassowary basically look like decorative emu. They've got uh, they've got a fluffy, a fluffy sort of dome body, and you can't see any of the details underneath because fluff. And then they have terrifyingly powerful looking legs, just like. Elephant legs with enormous, enormous feet. And like wrinkly knees or not knees because we've been through that's a that's a heel, I guess. And I'm still vaguely unclear on on the The appropriate analog of of bird joints, but they do just their feet are, are hilariously large. Just. Then the reason that I say they are a decorative emu is that they've got that kind of first of all they have a a two tone yeah just just really thick really thick heavy heavy legs going on um And then they've got like a multi a multi jewel tone kind of kind of neck with like a, a sort of really low down sort of wattle bit and then like floof and then they're like part part blue part red. And then they have this like amazing sort of rock formation on the top of their heads somehow. Like it 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 looks it looks like a rock formation, you guys. It looks like it's a distant photo of some sort of rock in the middle of the desert. It's got it's got fissures on top and everything. And apparently it's uh super dangerous. So that's fun. It's just uh don't don't get kicked by its its hilariously thick, heavy, powerful looking legs. Cuz 
because it's a uh, it's all leg. Just gonna do some magic with Photoshop. There we go. So yeah, cassowaries. Uh, I am getting the impression that the that the head the head formation possibly grows and changes with their maturity. Maybe. It's uh, unclear, but they seem to have a higher number of variations in form. And shape. Some being smaller than others. Some being more... more crest-like. Is it, is it dimorphism between the male and female, perhaps? I don't know. But it's an interesting extension of the Bill. Now I'm looking for a really good close up of of cassowary face is what's is what's going on off camera. I mean, obviously, obviously birds are descended from dinosaurs. Just chickens make that clear. There's surprisingly little dividing it, an angry rooster from a T-Rex. Just picture a, a T-Rex, uh, Aggressively, aggressively trying to uh, kick you with its with its spurred feet. Oh, the internet does not want me to have a really good picture of a of a cassowary face. It wants me to to know how how dangerous they are and how likely I am to be murdered by one. That's not helpful. I don't intend to attempt to hug a cassowary. Or for that matter, an emu or an ostrich. I uh, I feel I feel it's important to re to respect the personal space of large, dangerous birds. And to be fair, also small, less dangerous birds. Cause you know, it's only fair. Okay, well, this is sort of a better, sort of a better picture of a cassowary face. Yeah, the internet's really, really excited about the fact that, that, <laughs> that you can be killed by a cassowary. It's, uh, it's a little concerning. But not, but not that surprising, all things considered. It's 
so because they've got an interesting texture thing going on with their with their multi-toned wrinkly blue and red skinned heads and necks where sort of this area around the sort of eyes seems really smoother and tight to the skull kind of but then you get down a little bit lower on the neck and it gets really sort of wrinkly and, and interesting. Where did my cat go? He's gone. He has disappeared. And I didn't see him leave. Oh. Empty cat cam. <laughs> Is it? Oh. He's. He's having. He's having his second or third lunchtime. That's, that's the life. Just take a long, take a long nap in the sunshine, get up, finish, finish the, uh, the leftovers from, from lunch, go back to bed. Yeah, Jack, Jack is Jack is a hobbit. He doesn't like schedules to change. He he really really is into food. He likes peace and quiet. He does not like adventure. He is in fact very against leaving leaving his home and his bed. I f I I highly recommend uh cat bed on desk. It's uh it's a popular addition to my desk. Um, but I also I also work from home, so he gets to hang out with me all day. Which is nice. This <laughs> I've drawn a really concerned cassowary. I don't know I don't know how that happened, but he's a uh, He's really concerned about something. It's yeah, it's the well. So there's like there's kind of like a a, a color change shadow thing going on there, but yeah, it, it makes him it makes him look uh, look look worried. So that there, see, I'm 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 trying to I'm trying to soften the cassowary's image, you know. The internet, the internet seems really, really taken with with the murder part, but I feel like I feel like we should all be paying more attention to the fact that it has a blue neck and a bright red wattle hanging off. Like that, that just feels like more pertinent information to me. The other the other thing is that it's like it's like bright blue and then there's like a weird sort of red bit in the back that's like extra wrinkly. And feathers come up. And then yeah, it's got it's got a, a bright red like waddle bit going. It's it's a 
It's a very it's a very decorative bird, is what I'm saying. Right. Let's let's go let's go for some watercolor again. Let's let's do the full effect here. Before we before we wrap up, let's let's get some some like really Really good deep blue going on here. Because there's just like multiple shades of it going on. There's some teal up at the top and it gets almost purple and it's yeah let's get some let's get some cassowary colors going in there interestingly cassowary do not have bright red eyes unlike unlike many of our of our strange bird friends of today cassowary apparently Have nice brown eyes. Nice kind of warm brown eyes. Friendly brown eyes. Um, friendly brown eyes, but you still you still shouldn't hug a cassowary. Because as the internet would like you to know, they're the world's most dangerous bird. Somehow. Look at all the colors of blue. Look at how look at how friendly and fun all of that blue is. Alright, let's let's get the Fill in there. Get some darker colors. Got just about 10 more minutes, so if anyone has any last minute birds they felt we desperately missed, holler them out. We'll We'll see if we can't fit them in there in some form or other. I will say that unused on my list, we have, let's see, we have on my list that we have not discussed just, just two, two birds. We've already done quail. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry, quail have been covered. Um, the birds that I have on my list that we have not done or talked about is the magnificent frigate bird and the shoebill. Um, the shoebill, I feel, is is at least recently fairly well covered in in uh, in nature documentary land, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, but the frigate bird, the magnificent frigate bird, is glorious. And I recommend recommend giving them a look. Um, because they oh, and if you and if you have the chance, look up what they sound like. Ah, hornbills are also excellent. Um, but uh, wait, isn't isn't Zazu a hornbill in in the Lion King? I feel like I should be more sure of that. And the fact that I may have just gotten a Disney fact wrong live on stream is 
it will be it will be the end of me but but i thought at least in my memory hopefully no one knows better and i'm safe <laughs> in my assumption But yeah, hornbill, hornbill are excellent. All right, let's get some some red in there. It's actually kind of a a more blue red, which makes sense if you think about it. Yes, okay, good. <laughs> uh, just, uh, you know, just making, making Disney fans angry here with my, my wild assumptions based on vague memories. Glad to know I am correct in that. Um, so yeah, I kind of, I kind of, when I made my list anyway, I kind of went for, for birds I felt like, uh, <laughs> uh, for birds I felt like weren't getting enough, uh, weren't getting enough general visibility. And, and needed... And needed to be talked about. You know, like like Watson being born with, with, with tiny fingers. Like just, you know. We needed we needed to talk about it. Um another another glorious thing um is the magnificent frigate birds call. The males uh drum with their pouches and it's it's pretty great and I recommend I recommend finding it on the internet all right we've got ourselves a cassowary here just zoom it in while I uh while I see if I can't link you guys to to the the frigate bird Frigate bird call. I feel like it's maybe all about birds had it. Yes, sounds. Um, I'm just gonna pop that in chat quick. It's uh, I recommend not listening to the juvenile begging sounds. They're kind of screeching and frustrating, but the display calls are like a really interesting sort of drumming noise made with the uh, made with the male's excellent excellent red pouch. So let's just. Oh, cat cam, cat cam, cat is not back, so I guess we'll just leave cat cam off here at the end. And let's, uh, let's see if we can't do a little bit of an overview. Oops. Do a little bit of an overview here. See if we can't get everybody on, on screen at once. Oh yeah, I forgot. Secretary Bird takes <laughs> takes up all. So Secretary Bird takes up the whole page. We uh we did a lot of we did a lot of Secretary Bird. Let's uh 
Let's add some paper here. There we go. Did that? There we go. Okay, cool. Come, there we go. Stay, stay Photoshop. <laughs> stay. You can watch me try and arrange the screen. I feel like I should should have put it on some other screen. But what can you do? Just gonna have to watch the chaos. As I arrange birds. In a in an overview fashion here. Quail. There we go. Got them all on screen. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm I miss one step. So, um, shout out, shout out to my friend Steph Labaris, who is an excellent illustrator. She does um, golden books and lovely, lovely things like that. And uh, she used to do these great pages of just animal sort of pose sketches where it'd be a page full of like lions rolling around or cats or something. Um, I love, and I, those, I love those. I think they're great fun. Whoa, oh, zoomed in too much. Trying to, trying to get everything on screen. And, and, and sort of succeeding. There we go. That that's pretty close. Yeah, like anyway, I I enjoyed those. She doesn't do them as much anymore. Um but oh, now that now that now that my it's 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 still a little still a little well, let's do this then I know for sure it will all be on screen. All right. That's, that's the wrap up of, of today's weird bird sketching adventure. Don't forget that frigate birds are also great as are Papua and frog mouths. Based on number of sketches, I feel that perhaps uh, Secretary Bird is the favorite. But uh, we got a cassowary in there. We've got a Watson, a hoopoe, Secretary Bird, a phenopeplum, pepla, not peplum, that's a sewing term, and some uh, and some quail native to the American South and Southwest. I hope everybody had a good time with uh, with weird bird sketching and stories. I hope we all learned something. I learned that that hoopoo are magic, and uh, and the cassowary are murderers. So that's fun. Um, also, that that Watson have tiny fingers as babies. So uh, yeah. Hope everybody has a happy Friday. Thanks for joining me for Weird Birds. Um, and I'll see you guys next week for some pottery. Now that I seem to have a working autofocusing web camera. Everyone keep your fingers crossed. And I'll see you at the next Friday tea time. Bye.